My name is Joyce Pinkerton, and I was born uh, 6 29 22, and uh, I've been in Soap Lake ever since I was born. When school was out, we lived in Soap Lake water, <laughs> and we were barefoot all the time, got lots of slivers in my feet. And uh, to me, from the time you got out of school until it started, uh, you you were barefoot and you were swimming. And when you went back to school, you couldn't get a comb through your hair and your shoes wouldn't fit good because your, your feet were all out of shape by that time. My dad was a butcher and uh, he did his own, uh, you know, he'd go, we'd go out to the slaughterhouse with him, but he'd say, now you just don't go anywhere. You get over there and stay till after, you know, after he shot the cow or whatever they did. So anyway, I got up on the pump house so I could see what was going on. And when the gun went off, I fell out off the roof. <laughs> <laughs> so what were the years that your dad, or approximately, what were the years that your dad had the meat market? Clear up until the war started. And his meat shop was in two different places? Yes, it started at the top of the hill there, across from the uh, library. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, then he got so much business that he moved further down. And he, then he also uh, made ice, you know, ice machines. And mm -hmm. hey, many of the time I took a wagon and he put wet, uh, ice in there for have me delivered to certain places, you know, in the summertime when there's a lot of people there. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was always interesting thing for me to do. I didn't mind. Mm -hmm. My sister Jean didn't like it, but. <laughs> <laughs> When you would go swimming as a kid, which beach <clears throat> would you go to, and what was it like down there? I'd go mostly to the one uh, by up on our side of town. West Beach. Yes, West Beach. And uh, you know that Elliot's that was there that they you could rent boats and everything there. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's where we'd go out and swim. We just have a ball. Now, did they have a pier or any kind of a dock there during the time you were? Yes, they up? did. They did. You could swim out to that uh, dock, you know. Paul Thomas, I remember, he used to be out there. He's the one that taught me how to dive. I couldn't do it now, but I did then. <laughs> <laughs> the New Beach Hotel, to me, was unique. I tell you, when, when uh, Halloween, a bunch of the kids got together and got uh, the Clausen's goat and put it in the front door, up the st it went up, flying up the <laughs> stairs, and, the <laughs> and the can I tell Paul that you heard, I heard it from you? Yes, you sure can. <laughs> and, and and of course, a lot of them got a lot of a lot of trouble over that. Well, I don't think Paul was. It was his folks' his goat. <laughs> <laughs> they, and they upset the outhouses, you know. Mm. Yeah, we had an outhouse that got upset almost every Halloween. <laughs> I don't think they do that anymore. <laughs> there aren't that many outhouses either, so. Tell, tell me about the movie theater next to Agronos. Did you ever go to movies there? Oh, yeah. It was such a tiny little thing. I know it was, but you know. Well, my folks, as a rule, didn't let me go to the movies too much, but uh, uh, Mr. Sean that owned it, uh, he'd see me standing out there lonely, and he'd motion to me to go, I could go in and see. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's got a big thrill out of that, but I'd get home late, my folks wonder where I'd been. Well, <laughs> how we took a bath is we had a big old round tub that we got a bath once a weekend <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> Later on, I guess, uh, well, it was a long time after that, though, they finally put one bathtub in our house. We thought that was wonderful. Talk about some of the businesses, kind of like uh, in your mind, like just some of the businesses on Main Street. I mean, I've heard about the bakery and yeah. the newsstand. And all. Well, like the Coberly Apartments, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I remember my mother, she used to go pay uh, whatever you have to pay to, to get a soap lake bath, you know. And, and the, that, that was a business they had there. You'd be surprised how many people uh, every week mm -hmm. went and had a, a nice hot bath in Soap Lake water at the Coberly Apartments. Where Masker's Theater is built, Yeah. 
Somebody told me that a lady had a uh, vegetable stand or a fruit stand there. Yes, they did. Was it? And they Root. The name Their last was? name was Root. Okay. Yeah. Yes, they did. Tell they, me what that was like. Well, that was nice. You know, they eat. You, every once in a while, my folks would let me go over there and get a milkshake or something too. You know, but they sold all kinds of fruit and and uh, uh, sandwiches and a lot of things. And you know, people that, that were visiting in town, hey, they went there all the time and ate. So it wasn't an actual building. It was just an outdoor. Just an outdoor thing for summer. They opened it up every year the minute the, the oh. tourists started coming. That's interesting. And they did it. They did a good lot of business there because it was out in the open. Hmm. Hmm. Did you ever skate on the lake? The uh, cold? Yes, yes. Uh, one time, uh, Paul, uh, Paul um, Thomas, he uh, let us hook our floods on the back of his car and we was going out on the lake. And my dad came down there. I, he told me, I don't want to catch you out there. Well, anyway, I didn't listen. And I saw my dad come, and I rolled off of that sled and headed for home. <laughs> I knew I was in trouble. He was pulling the sleds apart? Yeah, he pulled our he sleds. Was the car on the ice, too? Yes. Oh, my. <laughs> did you ever listen to your dad? <laughs> oh, I did after that. <laughs> He always called, when he was furious, instead of saying Joyce, he called me Josen. I don't know why. He started yelling Josen. I knew I was in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> did it usually freeze every year? Or? Yeah, it did. Really, really froze. You know, my dad used to have sawdust, and, uh, you know, they'd go to Blue Lake and cut, you know, the water, so they'd have uh, ice to sell in the winter, I mean the summer. And uh, they'd pack it in sawdust. We had a big shed that we parked, packed it in. Later on, he put in a plant where he made his own ice. Joyce, would you talk about some of the uh, crowds of people and, and uh, what, what that really looked like visually, the town, and, and, and what some of the big times they would come for? If there was a, a holiday or an event, there was even more in town than usual? Well, they, it was always in the summertime that, that they had so much going, and a good share of it was at the James Cafe. Mm. People really went there, you know, they went there and they danced and they drank beer or whatever. Also, there was a restaurant there, you know, to eat, and the bus depot was there. Do you think there's any kind of a special uh, spirit about Soap Lake, or is there, besides the water, is this place special for any other reason? Do you have any ideas about that? Don's restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I think Don's has been there forever, hasn't it? Well, I understand Don's used to be a garage. Yeah, it was a Radke garage. Okay. It was. And, then, and we used to go in there roller skating and what have you in the wintertime, you know. Really? He let us do that, yeah. Oh. <laughs> you know, it was a cement floor, it was a garage, oh. and it was really big. And they just make that building into a restaurant after they, uh, wow. Mr. Radke passed away. Do you remember much about I know you were a little kid then. What what was it like, or what was the talk in town when they built McKay Hospital? Oh, I, I'll never forget that. I'll, I'll, I'll always remember when they dedicated that hospital. That was the most fantastic thing you could ever believe. And the speeches that were given, hey, you just could not believe uh, how impressed I was, and I wasn't very old. Dignitaries yeah. came from all, all over. over. That's right. Do you remember the Soap Lake Depot out in Grand Orchards when tourists? Oh, were I do too. Him? Paul Clausen there used to let us go with him to get the mail, mm -hmm. and uh, we thought that was a big thrill to go out there and watch the trains come in, and he'd get the mail to take back into town. And one time we took some pennies and put them on the railroad track, and he said, "Do that anymore? You're not coming because you're going to get run over." <laughs> I heard there were such crowds of people getting off the train for Soap Lake, and yeah. they would argue about transportation. That's in the right. Town. Do you remember that? Yes. Uh, there'd be people trying to get them to come to their motels, their hotel, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They, there was a lot of that. They'd be out there and saying, come with me. I have such and such a, mm -hmm. a hotel, oh, and, and how nice it is. And that's how they got their customers. George, Wal George Walthall was... My brother Richard's best friend, and we moved out to Grand Orchards for a while, and uh, uh, 
he would spend more time at, with George Walther at the hotel than he spent at home. And uh, my dad was always pretty much upset about that, but they took him in and, and he loved it, so he had a lot of, lot. and you know, when they got so busy, they'd rent their, mo their the two would be there, and it was in the summertime, so uh, George's parents would tell them they could go out and sleep in the, on the beach with their, <laughs> they were buying it, and they rented their rooms. <laughs> Oh boy, we had some bad, bad, bad ones. Well, we had we had snow drifts as high as this, high as a house. Hmm. How did you get to school? Did the school closed or did? Well, we yeah we we walked to school, you know. But when I got that bad, you didn't go to school. They have a wiener roast. <laughs> we started a fire on, on the ice. <laughs> that did not go over big. <laughs> Mr. Radke was jumping up and down. And <laughs> was that a good idea? <laughs> Everybody brought their own marshmallows and hot dogs, you know, and started a fire in the, in, out on the lake.